Scoop with your host, Adam Goldfine. Welcome back to Auto Scoop. I'm Adam Goldfine. I am up at the Atlanta Dragway. This is a fun, exciting, loud, noisy, fast event. We're talking about the NHRA drag strip. I'm talking with the different drivers today. We definitely want you to stay tuned, get up close and personal. And this is what you can do if you want to come out here with your friends, with your family. By the way, the qualifying events start today and will go all night, continue on Saturday, and then the races are on Sunday. So you've got Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. If you want to do something that you truly have never experienced but so close to home, we definitely recommend people come on out. Ashley, thank you so much for coming out. We spoke with you guys last year. We were excited to watch the progress. I know you had your big win, right? Everybody's been talking about it, especially since the win occurred here in Atlanta. You know, did that kind of change your confidence as you as you approach the sport? Uh, it does. You know, we it's a very tough category, the funny car class, um, and there are a lot of great teams in it. So you definitely don't take for granted a win, um, especially as a newer team. We we were in our second year competing when we got our win here in Atlanta. Um, it was my first event win in a funny car, so it was very special for my team and I. And to do it here in Atlanta, that memory will always be here for us every time we return here. Now you've been racing nine years. Total, yes. Okay, and you got into the series not with the funny cars. You were actually driving different vehicles. So, so how did you all of a sudden get the bug and decide, hey, I want to race cars. I want to race down a drag strip 300 miles an hour. I uh, grew up around racing. My dad, John, has raced my entire life. So my sisters and I spent a lot of summers, a lot of weekends at events, and, and that's really where the bug started. We love being out here. We love the excitement, you know, the competition, everything that comes mm -hmm. with drag racing. And as I got a little older and, um, you know, started deciding what I wanted to do for a career, you think, why not do something you're, you like doing on your weekends off anyway? So right. at 16, I got to go to Frank Colley's Drag Racing School and uh, returned there once I graduated from high school and got my license and then raced super comps during my college years. And once I graduated, um, I moved up a category to A-Field Dragster and then okay. three years after that, moved up to the Funny Car class. All right, so for folks who aren't familiar with the different classes, now Funny Car, they want to know, why do you call it a Funny Car? Okay, so where did the name come from and tell us about the vehicle. Uh, well, uh, originally there was the Dragsters, which are the long skinny rail cars with right. big tires and wing on the back and the motor sits, um, well now the motor sits in, in behind the driver and when people came out with the Funny Car, they it was shorter, you know, the motor was sat in front of the driver and it just looked different to people. So they, you know, oh, they thought funny. it was funny, even right. though it really resembles more of a car, a normal right. car than the dragster. But um, so I have a body that comes down on top of my car and my motor sits in front of me. And um, they're very exciting, very, um, you know, you never quite know what you're going to get in these funny cars. They like to move around on you a lot and they're a lot of fun to drive, very challenging. Um, and I've gotten to, I've never raced a top field dragster, but my, the A field car that I raced was a dragster. So I've kind of got to see both sides and they're both fun cars. Do you prefer too. the funny car over the dragster? I mean, from the feel and, and that kind of, uh, you know, challenge? They're very, the, the dragster that I was in was very different from the funny car as far as how I drove it. Um, I had to be more, have more finesse with the car where in the funny car I have to be more aggressive and, and quick on, on how I drive it. I can't speak for the top field cars because I've never driven those, but um, you know, they each have their pros and cons. There's certain things I like about the dragster and certain things I like about the funny car, but I love driving the funny car because the category I'm in, I race against my dad and my brother-in-law, and I never got to do that in the and, dragster. And, and you've beaten your dad, right? I have. He's beat me, I beat him, and, and my brother-in-law, Robert, he and I battled for the championship last year, and he beat me to the championship. So, so. Thanksgiving dinner is kind of fun at the <laughs> it, house. It is, yes. Yeah. <laughs> let, let me ask you uh, two quick questions. One, when you get in a car and you're all suited up and they put it on and you turn on the nitro and you're there and you got the Christmas tree and it's about to go down and you have, what, four, four and a half seconds and you're going to propel down that track. What are you thinking right before the lights go? <laughs> Uh, you know, everything leading up to, to staging the car when the trees come down is just about making sure you're where your team wants you to be on the track. You've done everything you're supposed to do. You've checked your oil pressure. You're just kind of getting prepared. So you're not really thinking, at least I'm not thinking too far ahead to the run. I'm making sure I'm where I need to be. But once that tree comes down, you really try to clear your mind because it seems the times you're thinking about stuff is the times you're going to be late on the tree. So, gotcha. And then it just happens so fast, you're almost just reacting. You're not thinking through, oh, I need to do this now, and you do it. I mean, you're doing it as you're thinking. Does, does it happen, though, like in slow motion, like as a kid? Like, I remember falling <laughs> on my bicycle, you know, and it was like in slow mo. I'm like, oh, I'm falling, you know, as yes. you're like whizzing through the air. Is, is the race kind of that way where things are so fast, but it's actually slow in your mind? It really depends on the run. I mean, certain runs, depending on what's going on with the car, I've had runs that were very smooth and very fast. 
Um, some of my quickest runs where it felt slower than runs with a lot of stuff going on and problems maybe okay. and the car moving around. Those are the ones that are not in slow motion, but the really good runs, you know, those are the ones that do seem to kind of go, like you said, in, in slow motion. You, you know, obviously you're an inspiration to a lot of women, a lot of young women watching you, and they're saying, you know, if she can do it, I can do it. How seriously do you take that, um, uh, you know, the mantle <laughs> of, of being a, a leader and being, you know, somebody people look up to? Well, you know, I, I'm out here with a lot of great drivers, a lot of children of racers, and, and that's neat to show that this is a family sport. A lot of our fans are families that come out, and a lot of the teams that they're watching are families out here racing. And so that's a huge part of how I've ended up where I am today is because I grew up in, in a family of racers. But, I mean, really, for, for any fans or any people watching that are interested in getting into it, you just have to be around it. The more time you can spend around and really get a good feel for what, what being a part of drag racing is, it's not just the glamorous little part that you see on TV, but there's a lot of work and a lot of time that goes into it, especially our teams. I mean, they've traveled, my team traveled the last couple days to get here, and now their work begins after traveling across the country, right. running through the weekend, so, but it's fun. The, the cool thing about these events are that people can get up close and personal with you guys, and we definitely encourage everybody to come out. Come watch Ashley race. You're gonna be qualifying, what, at 4.30 today, yes, you race? Yes, 4.30 and I think seven, later this evening, which will be nice. Our cars run good if the weather's a little cooler. Cooler and at night. So you'll, you know, and night racing is awesome for any fan who's never gotten to see that. It's pretty spectacular, and not every event do we, in fact, very few events do we get to race at night. So this is one of the special races that we do race. So we definitely encourage you to come on out. Ashley, I want to thank you very much for coming. I mean, it's sure. always a pleasure to see you. Good luck. Thank okay, you. we'll definitely be watching you tonight. Coming up in just a minute, stay with us. We've got another gentleman that is absolutely shaking up the circuit. Mr. Bernstein will be on with us here on CW69 on Auto Scoop. Don't go anywhere.